It's just a bit weird, addict to fitness guru. So what happened to the whole 20 year career she had in between? What did she do, was that all she's known for, being an addict? <laughs> Early in the morning, Early in the morning, Early in the morning. What's going on people, it's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back with another episode of Topical Tea today. I actually really wanted to do this video yesterday when it broke, when it was hot and fresh out of the oven, but I'll be honest with you, the reason I didn't do a video yesterday, I can't tell you right now, but I'm working on something, yeah? If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know it because I post a lot more things on my story, a bit more personal. So hit me up on Instagram and follow me on Instagram. I'm always active on there. But um, yeah, I'm working on something topical juice related, but it's outside of videos yesterday. So I'm going to continue doing that today. So I've got a surprise for you coming up soon, but let me just work on it. I'm sure some of you know anyway, but either way, stay tuned. So I'm back with a video today, topical tea, and I'm talking about, is it Patsy Barber? <laughs> okay, okay, so because I'll be honest with you, I know exactly who this woman is, but I never watched the EastEnders. I've seen her on TV before, I've seen her in that sort of I've seen her in videos before, I've seen her in Catherine Tate before, actually, in 07, I think, years ago. Um, but I couldn't, I, I never actually knew her name before this whole ordeal, so let me just confirm. I is Patsy Palmer, yeah. You, lot, you, you EastEnders not, watchers will know who she is in it, so let's get straight into this. Please hit the bell to be notified for me, please hit the subscribe button for me, please smash the thumbs up for me, and um, yeah, man, roll to 25,000, we're en route, I can't wait. And yeah, man, so let's go. So as you can see from the title, Patsy Palmer stormed off GMB yesterday. She, she, did a, she did a Piers Morgan, as she says. Now, I don't know if she's paying homage to Piers for that, like, oh, yeah, I'm doing a Piers and I'm riding with Piers and I'm walking away, or she's just referencing Piers. Either way, I hope it's allowed, because fuck Piers. But anyway, so she's interviewing from her living room in Malibu on Zoom. Within 30 seconds or so, she literally leaves the interview. And the reason for that is, is the title underneath her. So as you can see, the caption says, addict to wellness guru. Now, I'll be honest with you, I didn't actually know what that meant. I like, As in like, the way I read that sentence was like, are you addicted to fitness? Or like, what's going on here? I didn't really, I didn't actually understand it, but obviously the way my mind was working, I was just obviously just chatting worse. It, she's saying, the caption's kind of hinting at from addict to wellness guru type thing. So I understand. So if I just play the audio of what Patsy Palmer said, because I can't actually play the clip on screen no more because of copyright issues, but let me just play what she actually said. Yeah, I think you do. You do. So actually, I'm not. I don't even want to do this interview because I don't even want to look at what it says at the bottom of that screen. So I'm just gonna switch off, do a real Piers Morgan, and just say it's not okay to have addict to wellness guru on the bottom of the screen. Well, you know, my apologies for that. My issues that I had years ago that were talked about by me many, many years ago, and it's over. So I'm, I'm sorry, sorry about that, Patsy. A huge I'm apologies. We didn't, we, that, that was, it wasn't our intention to upset you. Uh, that's wow. obviously a quote from Patsy's book, and as she's talked about in the past, um, certainly wasn't our intention to. So she closes the laptop pretty much. Now, before I give my opinion, she released a statement on Instagram which she then deleted. So I'm just gonna read that out to you guys. On Instagram she read, my apologies to anyone that wants to hear good news as I have great faith that considering what is going on in the world right now, there are some people that do. I keep seeing people saying, get over yourself. I have gotten over my old self years ago and no longer wish to, di to discuss it when I only have five minutes for airtime. I'm not a journalist, so I don't want to report on other people's lives on TV. I never have and never will. Let's leave that up to the journalists. She went on. I'm not going to waste those previous five minutes talking about things that are 20 years old or about Meghan and Harry. If I post things on social media in reaction to a TV show or an article I've read about something, that's my platform. I was supposed to be there to talk about my new business that I've created and couldn't be more opposed to that headline. For all the trolls and haters and people on here judging me, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> I've worked really hard on myself to remove negativity from my life and the lives of my children. So if anyone has a problem with that, you need to go and take a look at your lives and wonder what drives you to jump on here and attack me for standing my ground. If you are parents doing that, then shame on you. Hope you find some joy amidst all the madness. Now, first things first year, I actually agree with her. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, get over yourself and oh, you said it in your own book and blah, blah, blah. First things first, the book was, as you said, two, nearly two decades ago. The book was, I think she wrote the book in 2007, talking about her issues then. That's a good 14 years ago, do you understand? And I really have, you know me, innit? you lot know me, you know me, you know me, you, you, or you lot that do know me, you know I hate the media. I hate the media. I hate the media and what they stand for. And it's little things like that. Now, don't get me wrong, I ain't ever watched EastEnders like that. But let's be real here. Don't disrespect her, she's done years of acting, like, she actually has had a career. 
She's had a, had a she had a proper career. She wasn't even there to talk about Harry and Meghan. She wasn't there to talk about her past addictions. She's there to talk about new businesses and things like that. She's got five minutes of airtime. Now, this is what I hate about the media. They always do this with black people when it comes to um, headlines. They go ex gang member from ex gang banger to blah 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 blah. Now. Don't get me wrong, these sensationalist titles, on the one hand, can be very, very inspiring. Now, I'm not taking it to offence. It's not like, oh, I'm offended, it's not that thing. But they know what they're doing when they say these things. It, language is very powerful. I know people like to say, oh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may... No, no, shut the fuck up. Words are extremely powerful. They always have been, they always will be. So, when you have on screen from an addict to guru, when she was addicted, Went to some stuff 20 years ago, which she's already spoken about in a book, it, literally two, in 07 or whatever, then that's the media hanging things over people's heads. You see, it's funny, you know, because if people were talking about Robert Downey Jr., for instance, would they say ex-criminal, ex-drug addict, ex-addict and criminal and uh, all this to mega-famous actor? They don't do that, do they? Now, I'm not saying this is a race thing or anything like that because obviously Patsy or... Shit, is it Patsy? Not Peggy Palmer. Patsy Palmer is white, for instance, you know, so it's not, this isn't a race thing, this is a media thing. Obviously, I know it, it does happen a lot to black people, for, a lot, um, from the media, but anyone is, gu anyone is guilty of, of being portrayed like this in the media, and this is what I'm saying, so... You know, you've got some people come out and said, you said that yourself, you quoted that in your book. Yeah, she's allowed to quote that in a book. First things first, it's her, herself. If she wants to refer to herself like that in her own autobiography, she can. Second of all, the book was years ago. She, you know what I'm trying to say? So I think it's very clever of these media to, to title things like that. I didn't even know she was addicted to anything. So a title like that isn't really gonna inspire me. Like, oh, she, that's really inspirational. She's, um, she was addicted to something, a substance, and now she's not. Like, I didn't even know that about her. So if anything, you've actually aired out some dirty laundry. Obviously, like, she's done it for herself anyway, but you, if anything, you've kind of made me find out something negative about her past that she's already dealt with, and you're digging it back up, and now I'm learning about that. Do you understand? So, listen, I, I think she's got every right to shut off that, that camera. I think, it, I think it's pathetic what GMB are doing, what the media do, it's what journalists do, it's what the media does. That show is going to be obsolete. The only reason it got ratings is because Piers Morgan is a is an idiot and he loves controversy. Do you understand? That's the only reason it, it, it was getting ratings. I just hate when people do that. I hate when people word things like that. You know, how many titles have I seen ex-gang member to this? When you see that type of language with a certain type of dem demographic, for instance, you're always gonna, it shapes your opinion on how you view certain people and view certain demographics. And when it's consistent language all the time, ex-gang member here and ex-so-and-so this, and we've all come from somewhere. We all have come from somewhere. So if you're, I don't know, like, if you're Bill Gates, for instance, he got done for drink, was it drink driving or speeding? He's got car, he's got car issues, um, car, uh, like, criminal offences. So no one ever says, ah, oh, from reckless driver to charitable billionaire. No one says that. Do you understand? So it's just, I just don't understand who you, why you pick and choose certain people to play with like that, to play with, with language like that. But either way, listen, I don't even know this girl like that too tough. So I'm not just, I'm not here being biased. I just think it's a bit weird. I think it's wrong. Like, can you not just say Patsy Palmer or actor or actress, whatever you want, you know, because like, some women don't like being called actresses now because they think it's sexist. So let me just stick to actor or whatever. So actors, you know, actor Patsy Palmer and shit like, you know what I'm trying to say? So it's just a bit weird. Addict to fitness guru. So what happened to the whole 20 year career she had in between? What did she do? Was that all she's known for, being an addict? <laughs> it's just a bit poor, innit? It's not a good look, to be honest. And, and GMB, ITV, they're done out here, man. Like, they ain't really got nothing to offer apart from... How can a show have so much controversy, be controversy before people even open their eyes? They got crossed in their eyes and, they get, and they're being offended at 7am, bro. Like, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Was she being dramatic? What's your thoughts? Again, age to their own, innit? I think, I think it was wrong what GMB did, but some people think she should get over herself. So let me know what you think below. And um, yeah, man, I'm excited to announce a couple things soon enough. And I'll see you soon. Peace.